welcome back to the lectures on engineering mathematics 1 and this is lecture number 30 and we will continue our discussion on double integrals and uh, today in particular we will be talking about some applications of uh, double integral. So, let us start with the problem number 1 where we will find the area. So, here using a double integral uh, find the area of the region enclosed by the parabola y is equal to x square and y is equal to x. So, we have two curves here one is the parabola y is equal to x square and the other one is the straight line y is equal to x. So, the area here enclosed by these two curves uh, we want to find using the double integral and the idea was which has already been discussed in the previous lecture that we can simple, uh, simply integrate the uh, function 1 or the constant function 1 over this region and then we can get the uh, area of the region bounded by these two curves. So, precisely we have uh, these two curves y is equal to x this line and this y is equal to x square uh, this parabola and then we have to get this point of intersection which is uh, pretty simple in this case. So, we have y is equal to x square and y is equal to x these two curves. So, y is equal to x is equal to x square and this will give us the point of intersection. So, x square and minus x is equal to 0. So, we will get x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 these two points and corresponding y of course, we can easily get. So, here x is equal to 0 is this point where we have x 0 and y 0 the another point we have here where the x is 0 and y is sorry x is 1 and y is 1. So, these are the two points and now we will compute the area of, of this region enclosed by these two curves. So, we need to find the limits now. So, the limits of this integral here we have the possibility whether we take first in the direction of x and then in the direction of y it does not matter. So, we will take now for example, in the direction of y first and then in the direction of x. So, in the direction of y we have the limits from this curve to that curve and these lines will run from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 to go through all this enclosed area. So, here this curve is y is equal to x square and the above one here is y is equal to x. So, in the direction of y we are entering through this curve x is equal to y is equal to x square and leaving uh, this area by this curve y is equal to x the straight line. So, here the limits of y will be y is equal to x square to y is equal to x and uh, such lines are moving from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1. So, this integral will give us the area of the integral uh, of the region bounded by these two curves. So, we need to compute simply this integral now which will give us the area of the region enclosed by these two curves. So, here the outer one we keep as uh, 0 to 1 and the inner one with respect to y. So, we will get y and then the limit x square to x and then we have here dx. So, this will be 0 to 1 and y the upper limit is x and the lower limit is x square. So, x minus x square and then we have dx here and now we can integrate the single integral again. So, here we will get x square by 2 and x cube by 3 and the limits will be 0 to 1. So, substituting this upper limit here the lower limit will make anyway this 0. So, when putting other limit we have the 1 by 2 and minus this 1 by 3. So, this will give us 1 by 6 this is the area of the region bounded by this parabola and the straight line y is equal to x. 
So, that is the answer of this integral. So, we will take another example of little more uh, slightly more complicated. So, here we have instead of y is equal to x for example, y is equal to x plus 2 line. So, in this case again we have one parabola and then the line instead of y is equal to uh, x we have y is equal to x plus 2. So, this is the situation we have this y is equal to x plus 2 line. So, this intercept here when x is 0 the y value is 2 and when x is minus 1 this is uh, 1 here. So, this point of intersection again so y is equal to x square and y is equal to x plus 2. So, we can get just by this solving this equation x square is equal to x plus 2 or x square minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, this will give us x minus 2 and x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, x x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 2. So, we will have these two points now where the these two curves will intersect. So, one is precisely this one the other one uh, at this point here. So, here when x is 2 so y will be 4. So, 2 comma 4 is this point and then minus 1 and 1 is this point here and we are computing this area bounded by these two curves. Now, again the same idea that in the direction of y we are always moving from this curve to this line and in the direction of x we will be moving then. So, this is in the direction of y which is always from this curve y is equal to x square to y is equal to x plus 2 and, and then this line will move from this x is equal to minus 1 to x is equal to 2. So, this area bounded by these two curves we will compute this integral the integrand will be 1 and then we have dy dx the limits of the inner integral y with respect to y will be from this y is equal to x square to y is equal to x plus 2 the parabola to this to this line from this parabola to that line. And now for the x as discussed we will take from minus 1 to 2 minus 1 to 2 so which we can easily integrate and then we will get the area enclosed by these two curves. So, this is the integral which we want to evaluate now to get this uh, area. So, let us do that. So, here we have minus 1 to 1 the outer integral and for the inner one with respect to y. So, we have just y there and then here x square to x plus 2 and dx which will be minus 1 to 2 and this y first x plus 2 and then minus x square dx. So, now we can integrate. So, here we have x square by 2 plus this 2 x and minus this x cube by 3 and the limits will be minus 1 to 2. So, here we can now put the upper limit and the lower limit at each uh, expression here. So, we have x square by 2 that means 1 by 2 and this x square so 4 and then minus 1. So, it is uh, minus 3. So, we have minus 3 by 2 plus this 2 and then x square by 2. So, x square will give 4 and then uh, sorry it is already the integrals so we are just putting the value. So, when we put the upper uh, limit here. So, this will be 2 and then minus minus 1. So, this will be 3 and minus this 1 by 3 and we have this 8 and plus again this uh, will be added because this minus 1 power minus 3 will be minus again. So, this here we get 3 by 2 and plus this 6 and minus 3 that means 3 by 2 and plus 3 and 6 plus 3 9 by 2. So, this area enclosed by these two curves now is 9 by 2. So, which is also written there. So, now 
we will take one more example for the area where we want to again use the double integral and determine the area bounded by the curves x y is equal to 2. So, now we have three curves here x y is equal to 2 and y is equal to x square by 4 and y is equal to 4 this uh, line parallel to the x axis. So, let us uh, look at the graphs of all these curves. So, we have here y is equal to 4 this uh, straight line we have this parabola again y is equal to x square by 4 and then we have x y is equal to uh, 2. So, here as uh, x is approaching to 0 this uh, will go to infinity and same thing when uh, uh, x will go uh, this y will go to 0 when x is going to infinity. So, we have this uh, curve here x y is equal to uh, this is uh, x y is equal to 2 and then we have here uh, y is equal to x square by 4 and this is straight line is y is equal to 4. So, these three curves and the area bounded by uh, these three curves will be precisely this one here. So, this is the area we are going to uh, compute now with the help of double integral. So, in this we have the possibility though going uh, first through the x axis and then the y axis or the other way around. But in this case if we go first towards the x axis so in this direction if we take the integral first in the direction of of x what will happen we are going from this curve which is x y is equal to 2 to this curve which is y is equal to x uh, by 4 and in this direction we will go from now, y from this point which we will compute now what is the point of intersection here to y is equal to 4 which is already given. But if we first fix in the direction of x, so if we first fix in the direction of x then the problem will be that going from this curve to the line always, but up to this point next to this we will be going from this parabola y is equal to x square by 4 to that line. So, we have to break this integral into two regions one would be this one and the other one would be this one. So, instead of this if we take first with respect to x that will be easier because we do not have to break the domain in that case we will go from this curve to this curve always and in the direction of y from this point to that point. So, we need to compute this uh, uh, point of intersection of this uh, x y is equal to 2. So, x y is equal to 2 and the other one uh, is uh, y is equal to x square by 4. So, here we substitute the value of y from there it is a 2 over x. So, 2 over x is equal to x square by 4 and from here we can get uh, that x will be uh, just 2. So, this point here is uh, precisely x is equal to 2 and the y will be given by. So, this is x is equal to 2 and y is 2 over x. So, y is 2 over uh, x. So, that means 1. So, here y is 1. So, this point here y is 1 and that line here y is 4. So, in the direction of y we will go from 1 to 4 and in the direction of x we will go from this uh, x y is equal to 2 to y is equal to x square by 4. So, let us write down this integral. So, inner one with respect to x and the outer one with respect to y. So, for the inner one we are moving from this x y is equal to 2 that means x is 2 over y and there the upper uh, boundary will be given by this x square is equal to uh, x square is equal to 4 y that means x is 2 square root y. So, here 2 square root y and for y we will go from 1 to 4. So, that is the area bounded by uh, these three curves we can compute this integral. So, let us do that. So, here 
this is the integral we want to uh, compute now. So, for the inner one, so we fix the outer one y is equal to 1 to 4. For inner one with respect to x first, so we have x and then we will put the limit. So, the upper limit 2 square root y minus 2 over y. So, 2 square root y minus 2 over y and dy. So, we can integrate this easily. So, we have 2 and the square root y. So, 2 y power half and then there will be a plus 1 and divide by that uh, exponent. So, here that will be 3 by 2. So, we will have 2 by 3 and y 3 by 2 that is the integral of this part and minus this 2 times the ln y and that the limit 1 to 4. So, here we have 4 by 3 and then this 4 the square root 2 and then power 3. So, we will get 8 there and minus this 1. So, the lower limit we will get this minus 2 ln the upper limit 4 and when we put the lower limit here for y we will have ln 1 and that will be 0. So, in this case we have now the 4 by 3 and this is 7 minus 2 ln 4. So, 28 by 3 uh, minus 2 ln 4 that is the value of this uh, integral. Uh, 28 by 3 minus 2 times the ln 4 that is the area bounded by these 3 curves. So, we have seen these 3 examples where we have computed the area bounded by uh, the curves or sometimes this uh, 2 curves or the 3 curves. So, in this case it was enclosed by uh, 3 curves and we had another, uh, another application which we have already discussed that is the a volume of the solid. Uh, so, here the uh, using the double integrals we want to find the volume of the solid below this z is equal to x y. So, we have this z is equal to x y surface over this region which is enclosed by this parabola again y is equal to 4 minus x square and uh, x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. So, these are the 3 curves again and the x axis the fourth one is x axis. So, we have to first see what is the uh, region here you know, in the domain and then we have the function surface here z is equal to x y. So, we want to find the volume uh, below this surface and over this enclosed area in the x y plane. So, we have uh, to first uh, scratch the region as usual. So, we have the parabola and then uh, these three lines. So, we have this parabola which is other direction now y is equal to 4 minus x square. So, when x is 0 the y is 4. So, the vertex is here. So, we have this y is equal to uh, 4 minus x square that is the parabola. We have x is equal to 1 this is the line x is equal to 1 and we have the line x is equal to 2. So, this is the line here and then we have the x axis. So, the region bounded by all these 4 curves is this one. So, this is the this is the region bounded by the 4 curves. Though this uh, y is equal to so x is equal to 2 does not play a role here because this is precisely passing through this point of intersection of this parabola and this line. So, even if we remove also this x is equal to 2 the region enclosed will be the same. So, now we also need to get uh, this point here. So, that is pretty clear when x is 1. So, when x is 1 the y is 3. So, this x is uh, 1 and then y will be 3 at this point uh, by this y is equal to uh, 4 minus x square and at this point here the x is 2 and the y is uh, 0. So, now we uh, need to just put the limits and the function will be x y. So, this automatically this double integral with the, the integrand this x y will give us the volume uh, of the solid below by the surface and above this uh, uh, x y plane. So, to get this these limits here again we have both the possibilities we can go first in the direction of x 
or we can go in the direction of y first. So, let us go in the direction of x and then for the inner integral and then this line will move from this to that point. So, for dx and the dy will be the outer one, the integrand now will be x y because we are going to get the solid. If we put this instead of x y 1 again we will get the area of uh, this uh, region which is shown in the figure. So, now for the limits of x we are now moving from x is equal to 1 this is the line x is equal to 1. So, always we are entering here to the domain from x is equal to 1 and the exit point is this uh, parabola y is equal to 4 minus x square or from there we can get uh, this y is equal to 4 minus x square. So, we can also write that x is equal to 4 minus uh, y and the square root. So, for the inner one x we are moving from 1 to square root uh, 4 minus uh, y and for the outer one for the y we are moving from this line to that line that means y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 3. So, this is the integral we want to now evaluate and that will give us the volume of the solid below this that surface uh, z is equal to x y which is the integrand of this integral. So, now let us evaluate this uh, integral. So, here this was the uh, the limit we have just seen. So, x from 1 to this is square root 4 minus uh, y and y is 0 to 3 and we want to integrate this with respect to x first. So, this v the volume with respect to x we have to integrate first. So, that means this will be x square by 2. So, y uh, so this is y and by 2 and we have x square and these limits from 1 to uh, 4 minus y and the outer integral is y. So, this is 0 to 3 and y by 2. So, here x square. So, the 4 minus y and minus 1 dy which will be 0 to 3. So, here this is 3 minus y. So, 1 by 2 outside and then 3 y minus y square that is the integrand and dy. So, we have 3 y minus y square dy and the integral uh, over y from 0 to 3 and this factor half there. So, half the integral 3 so y. So, 3 by 2 y square and minus y cube by 3 the limits 0 to 3. So, 1 by 2 and then let us put the, uh, the upper one here 3 the lower one will make anyway 0. So, 3 by 2 and this y square. So, here 9 minus 3 and then 27. So, which is uh, 9 again. So, here uh, 27 by 2 and then minus 9. So, this is 1 by 2 and 27 by 2 and this minus 9 there. So, this is 18 and then we have uh, 27 there. So, we get 9 and then this is by 4. So, we get the value 9 by 4 of this volume which is below the surface y is equal to x y and above the region enclosed by uh, the parabola and these 3 lines. So, that is the uh, answer of this integral as 9 by uh, 4. So, we move further to discuss another example where again we will uh, compute the volume of the solid whose base is in the x y plane and it is bounded by the parabola. So, this is not the parabola. So, bind, bounded by the curves here x y is equal to 1, y is equal to x and this y is equal to uh, 0 and uh, y is equal to 8. So, in this case again we need to draw these curves here again okay, we have the 4. So, among them 3 are the lines and then this x y is equal to 16 which similar kind of uh, uh, graph we have in the earlier figure. So, to have this now this is the situation 
we have this x y is equal to 16 and then this is the line y is equal to x we have y is equal to 0 and we have x is equal to 8. So, these are the four curves. So, again let me just mention. So, this is y is equal to x and we have uh, x y is equal to 16 and we have in this case x is equal to 8 and the region enclosed by these four curves. So, this is not the region here this the region by this four. So, 1 the 2 and the third and the fourth. So, then close by this we have precisely this region here and now we will compute the volume of the solid which is above this region here and uh, below the uh, bounded by the uh, x y is equal to 1. So, whose uh, base is this and the plane here z is equal to x yeah. So, this is the function this is the surface z is equal to x. So, our uh, integrand is going to be x now. So, again we have the situation that we can uh, either go in the direction of y first or we go in the direction of x first, but in either case we have to break the domain because even if we go first in the direction of x. So, up to this point here we have a different situation and after that it goes from y is equal to x and exit from x is equal to a or if we uh, set in the direction of uh, y first. So, we have again these two regions one is this one which is from the entries from y is equal to 0 to this uh, curve which is given by y is equal to x and then from 4 to 8 uh, we have uh, this different curve. So, what is this point here the point of intersection that is also important. This is uh, y is equal to x and this is x y is equal to 16 and y is equal to x. So, out of this we will get x square 16. So, x is 4. So, this is exactly x is equal to 4 and naturally this y is equal to 4. So, that is the point here. So, we can let us take now first in the direction of of y and then in the direction of x. So, we need to have two integrals now. So, in the direction of uh, y first and then in the direction of x. So, and the integrand is going to be x. So, in the direction of y our range is for this first region which is uh, this triangle uh, y goes from 0 to this curve which is x and then for x we will move from this point to this point that means 0 to 4. The another one then 4 to 8 our uh, x will vary from 4 to 8 and now for the y it is again the same curve y is equal to 0 here, but now there it is x y is equal to 16. So, this y is equal to 0 to 16 over x and then we have again dy and dx. So, this integral we will compute which is given here. So, again this is uh, simple each of the integral is simple. So, the first one is 0 to 4 and then with respect to y. So, x remain as it is and with respect to y we will get x there. So, we have dx here we have 4 to 8 and then this x and again y there. So, upper limit will give us 16 by x and minus this 0. So, d x. So, these are the two integral. The first one is x square. So, we will get x cube by 3 and the limits 0 to 4 and then here we have the 16 and then x. So, 8 minus 4. So, we will get 4 the integral value there. So, here 64 uh, by 3 and plus uh, 64. So, this is 64 if I take common this is 1 by 3 plus 1. So, 64 into 4 by 3. So, 16 256 and by 3. So, 256 by 3 is the uh, volume of the solid below this uh, plane z is equal to x and bounded by that region x y is equal to 16 and y is equal to 6 y is equal to x y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 8. 
So, that is the value 256 by 3. And now, uh, the last example of uh, today's lecture. So, we want to compute the volume of the solid whose base is again in the x y plane, but now we have the parabola here y is equal to 4 minus x square. We have the straight line y is equal to 3 x and on the top we have the plane z is equal to x plus 4. So, again the similar uh, problem. Uh, so, we, the integrand will be x plus 4 and the region will be computed from this y is minus x square and y is equal to 3 x. So, these are the, the lines here. So, uh, the curve. So, y is equal to 3 x. So, we have y is equal to uh, 3 x and this parabola uh, is y is equal to 4 minus x square. We have seen earlier also similar regions. So, now this is the region where we want to get the volume below the z is equal to x plus 4 uh, plane. So, on this we need to compute now where, what is this intersection points. So, for this uh, we can now have y is equal to 4 minus x square and y is 3 x. So, I will put 3 x there and then 4 minus x square. So, we have x square plus 3 x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x minus 4 and so, x plus 4 and x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 4. So, these are the two points. So, here we have uh, x is equal to 1 and correspondingly y we can get from this y is equal to 3 x and here we have x is equal to minus 4. So, the corresponding to this y will be minus 12 and here the y will be uh, 3 x. So, 3. So, these are the points and now we want to uh, integrate. So, we have to write the integrals and again the question that uh, we either we can integrate first in the direction of x or in the direction of y. So, let us integrate first in the direction of y because that will be easier. So, in the direction of y it always goes from it enters through this line and exit through this parabola. So, that means this, uh, this y and then dx. So, the y goes from 3 x to this uh, parabola y is equal to uh, 4 minus x square and the limits of x will be from minus 4 to this x is equal to 1. So, this integral we need to compute and the integrand will be x plus 4 and plus we have to uh, yeah, that is the only integral because we have covered the whole uh, region here. This line is always entering through this line and exit from that parabola and then for x we have also taken from minus 1, minus 4 to 1. So, we need to just uh, integrate the simple integral to get the values. So, in this case this is the volume in terms of the double integral which we can again this is a simple integrand we, we can integrate and after the calculations here the values uh, are coming as uh, 625 by uh, 12. It is a simple integral one can easily compute. So, what uh, we have seen today that applications of these double integrals uh, mainly the computation of area and also the computation of volume. In later ex, uh, lectures, we will also see uh, the another application where we can compute the surface area as well. So, now we have computed only the area of the domain of the function and then uh, later on we can also compute the surface area of the given surface uh, using the double integrals. But uh, this was a straightforward application, uh, the computation of the area and the computation of the volume which we have covered today. These are the uh, references which are used uh, uh, to prepare these lectures and thank you very much.